Each year, 800 million litres of apple juice are produced on an industrial scale and machines harvest over 100,000 tonnes of apples from local farms to make this enormous quantity. But how is industrial apple juice made? Let's discover how apples are processed in factories to produce apple juice on a large scale. The process of making apple juice begins with the harvest. Around 90% of juice production takes place during the harvest season in October, starting in September when the apples have developed their full flavor. They are shaken from the trees and harvested in various ways. The tree shaking machine holds the trunk with its hydraulic arm, vigorously shaking it for a few seconds, and approximately 60 kilograms of apples fall to the ground. Most of the apples for consumption are still harvested by hand, but this machine can shake 100 tons of apples in a single day without problems. This is just one of the local farms that supplies the factory with 100,000 tons of apples each year. From September to the end of November, processing activities at fruit juice companies are in full swing. They produce 800 million liters of apple juice annually. Between the delivery of apples at collection points and processing, no more than 24 hours pass. As soon as the apples touch the ground, the production of apple juice begins. Apples arrive at the factory from local farms during the harvest season. Four of these enormous trucks arrive every hour. It is essential that the apples are fresh and in good condition upon arrival at the factory. The process begins when a conveyor belt transports the apples to an inspection area. A stream of 90 tons of recycled water causes the apples to fall into four water channels. The apples fall in the opposite direction of the conveyor belt so that leaves and unwanted materials stick to the belt. The initial inspection discards any damaged or spoiled apples. Fresh and high-quality apples are essential for producing delicious and healthy juice. The factory annually transforms 40,000 tons of this fruit into apple juice. After the initial inspection, apples are sorted based on their size, color, maturity and quality. This sorting process helps ensure that only the highest quality apples are used in juice production. Defective apples are separated for use in other purposes, such as fruit compote. Once sorted, the apples undergo additional cleaning to remove dirt, dust and potential surface contaminants. This is achieved through an automated washing process in modern processing facilities. The apples are temporarily stored in silos for several hours before moving on to the processing stages. It is essential to maintain the apples at controlled temperature and humidity to preserve their freshness until they are used in the next step of the process. Additional quality analysis, such as acidity measurement, sugar content and other parameters, are conducted to determine the quality and flavor of the apples. Selected apples are transported from the storage area to a washing station. In this station, apples pass through a series of rollers and brushes that wash them with water. Water helps remove dirt, dust and other visible residues from the surface of the apples. After the initial wash, the apples undergo a disinfection process to eliminate potential pathogenic microorganisms like bacteria and fungi that may be present on the fruit's skin. Once disinfected, the apples are rinsed again with clean water to remove any residue from the disinfectant solution and ensure they are ready for the next step of the process. The washed and disinfected apples are transported to an area where they are allowed to drain and dry before continuing with the process. This helps remove excess water that could dilute the juice during extraction. Next, clean and safe apples are transported to the peeling station. Apples are peeled to remove the skin. Peeling is done using specialized machines equipped with blades to efficiently remove the skin. Apple skin typically contains more insoluble solids and can result in a bitter taste, so its removal is crucial to obtain clear and tasty juice. Once peeled, the apples undergo the shredding process. Apples are cut into small pieces in this crusher. Inside this massive blender, there is a grinding plate equipped with 28 zigzag blades, spinning at a rapid rate of 1500 revolutions per minute. Cut the fruit into bite-sized pieces to soften the puree and prepare it for juice. The mill adds a natural enzyme called pectinus, which creates a chemical reaction. Enzymes break down the cellular structure of the apple so that when we press it, it releases more juice. During shredding, cores and other inedible parts of the apples can be removed. This ensures that only the pulp of the apples, which contains the most juice, is used in juice production. 
Next, the apple pieces are taken to maceration tanks, where they will remain for 60 to 90 minutes. These apple pieces travel through 120 meters of pipes to six 50-ton tanks. The apple puree is pumped into a powerful hydraulic press. The press is filled with nine tons of puree and forces the juice through 288 filtering sleeves inside the press. The filter sleeves retain the skins, seeds, and stems of the apples. This allows for the extraction of as much juice as possible from the crushed apples and effectively separates solid particles from the pulp. In the powerful presses, the liquid is squeezed from the puree at high pressure. The goal is to break the pulp cells and release the juice contained within. At this stage, the juice is essentially a cloudy liquid due to the presence of suspended solid particles. The puree and leftover pieces of skin and seeds are heated to produce methane, which is converted into cleaner and more ecological energy, which can be used in automobiles, ovens and water heaters as fuel. The extracted apple juice is pumped through a pipeline to storage tanks, leaving behind the unwanted parts of the apple. This juice is cleaner and clearer compared to the crushing stage, as it has been more effectively separated from the pulp and fibers. The juice is filtered to remove smaller particles and obtain a clearer and cleaner juice. Quality control is strict at each stage of the process. Samples of juice are taken to evaluate its quality and ensure that manufacturing parameters are well controlled. Adjustments can be made to the juice during this process to achieve the desired flavor and characteristics. This may include the addition of acids to preserve the color and natural apple flavor, as well as adjustments to the balance of sugars and acids to achieve the desired flavor and preservatives to further extend the product's shelf life. The crushed and separated apple juice is temporarily stored in refrigerated tanks to maintain it at the appropriate temperature and prevent the proliferation of microorganisms. Once cooled, the juice flows through these immense tanks. The next step is pasteurization. Apple juice is pumped into a heat exchanger. During this stage, the juice is gradually heated to a specific temperature. The temperature and heating time vary according to regulations and manufacturer specifications, but typically range between 75 and 90 degrees Celsius. Once the juice reaches the desired temperature, it is held at that temperature for a specified period. This is known as the holding time, and its duration depends on the temperature used and food safety requirements. The goal is to ensure that all harmful microorganisms are eliminated. After the holding period, apple juice is rapidly cooled to a safe temperature. Once the juice has been pasteurized and cooled, it is temporarily stored in refrigerated tanks to prevent contamination and ensure product quality. It undergoes a homogenization process. This involves passing the juice through a machine that breaks and mixes the added particles, ensuring a uniform distribution of ingredients in the juice. The apple juice is now perfectly filtered. Its clarity, as well as its flavor, color, and sugar content are verified. Since it is produced in October, it must be preserved throughout the year. Some of the production is stored in this tank to be bottled during the year. Apple juice is pumped from refrigerated storage tanks to filling machines. These machines fill the containers with the precise amount of juice, ensuring that each product contains the same amount of liquid. These small containers are filled at a rate of 100 per minute. Two small sprays of hot glue are applied to the containers to secure the straws in place. Another automated production line fills the bottles. 120 bottles of pasteurized apple juice are sealed each minute. Once filled, the bottles are sealed tightly to prevent the entry of external contaminants. This helps maintain the freshness and quality of the juice throughout its shelf life. After being filled and sealed, the bottles pass through labeling machines. Once packaged and labeled, the products are ready to be sent to stores and supermarkets. Thanks to its perfect preservation, consumers can enjoy this juice at any time of the year. If you want to know how tequila is made, watch the video on your screen, and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.